Ever wondered what it feels like to wander through a surreal, otherworldly environment that blurs the line between reality and imagination? Well, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how I crafted a haunting liminal space using Unreal Engine. From eerie lighting to prop selection and placement, I'll guide you through each step to create a space that feels both familiar and liminal. So stick around and let's transform your creative visions into a mesmerizing virtual experience. To start, I believe it is important to define what a liminal space is. That way, we have the best understanding of what it is in order to accurately create such an environment. According to the Liminal Space subreddit, in concept, it refers to a transitional point between two regions or states. We'll explore examples soon, but in concrete terms, this would be things such as paths, hallways, roads, etc. In abstract terms, this usually means things like the act of waiting, the state of being between uses, transitional stages in life, transitional times of day, etc. Basically, things that could be compared to a state of limbo. So in my particular use case, I thought it would be an interesting idea to build out an office space in the midst of a transitional state. Like when an office is closing its doors for good, with everything in the midst of being boxed up and most of the lights remaining off. I began building out an environment using the customizable backrooms pack I bought off the Epic Marketplace. This little kit bashing kit allowed me to quickly get the aesthetics needed to build out an office space, along with the fluorescent lighting as commonly seen in such environments. The fluorescent lights also conveniently came with some blueprints that I was able to customize so it could dynamically react with the score I had composed for the video. Once I had a layout for the environment flushed out, I then went to Sketchfab and TurboSquid to find free props to fill up the environment to help further solidify the lived-in office space aesthetic. I also used the free apartment tech props pack on the Epic Marketplace for things such as CRT monitors, early 2000s magazines, keyboards, mice, tables, and more. When it comes to the layout of the environment, the idea was to start in a barren hallway which then led into the first large room that consisted of rows of cubicles followed by a second smaller room with a more open concept design that finally ends with a long hallway that stretches far off into the distance with only a wide set of blue doors to be seen, bringing the hallway to an end. This being achieved thanks to a few conveniently placed fluorescent lights. With the first room mainly consisting of multiple rows of cubicles in the midst of being taken down, things such as CRT monitors, wheelie chairs, lamps, and boxes seen scattered throughout the room are what mainly occupied the environment prop-wise. It was important to find a balance with the props where the room felt empty and in a state of transition, while also not being too busy and cluttered, therefore taking away from the feeling of liminality. Several of the props, such as wheelie chairs, lamps, CRT monitors, and fluorescent lights, were built into blueprints so that it would then dynamically react to the score of the piece via OCS data coming from Ableton Live as the song would play out in real time. I did this so the environment could be more congruous with the score. If you'd be interested in some more detailed tutorials of how I set up these type of blueprints, I actually made a few videos a couple months ago that break down the process of setting such a thing up. The links for these videos will be in the description. Once I had the first room fleshed out with props, I then started on the second smaller room which more or less followed the same design philosophy as the first one. Except this time around, I made the room have a more open concept design, with singular desks as opposed to the cubicle approach I seen in the first room. This allowed me to make things look even more chaotic, as I could have the desks sprawled around the room in a more disjointed fashion, basically trying to make the room look more chaotic and dismantled as the arrangement for the score became more full as well. This all then finally concluded with that room going into a long barren hallway with nothing but fluorescent lights illuminating the space with an exit door being seen at the end of the hallway, which also accumulates in the arrangement working its way down to nothing but one swelling synthesizer which illuminated the exit door far off into the distance, 
until finally the lights in the office turn off for the final time, leaving everything in darkness once the accompanying score finishes. And there you have it, a fully realized liminal space ready to invoke a sense of wonder and unease. I hope this walkthrough has inspired you to experiment with your own surreal environments in Unreal Engine and other 3D software. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on future content. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.